हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू आर हियर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट अ बिन अ मूवेबल बिन एंड इट्स कंटेंट्स हैव अ कंबाइंड वेट ऑफ 2.8 किलो न्यूटन डिटरमिन द शॉर्टेस्ट चेंज स्लिंग एसीबी दैट कैन बी यूज्ड टू लिफ्ट द लोडेड बिन इफ द टेंशन इन द चेन इज नॉट टू एक्सीड 5 किलो न्यूटन सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द चेन स्लिंग फ्रॉम from a until b so a c b we need to find the length of this chain in order to have the maximum tension in chain 5 kN and the weight of the bin and its contents is 2.8 kN so the weight of the bin is going to act vertically downward like this that is 2.8 kN and this rope at c holds that hold um the, that whole weight this means that the everything behind this point c is supported by this rope so we can say that the weight of the bin along with all the system along the chains and along the contents the weight is 2.8 kN which is acting vertically downward so the tension in this particular rope or cable will be 2.8 kN as well So now if we draw the free body diagram let's say this is my point A this is my point B and this is my point C so the the tension of this rope is going to act vertically upward and the magnitude of that tension will be equal to the weight of the bin along its content so let me draw the free the let me show that tension here so the tension is going to act vertically upward and that magnitude of this is 2.8 kN and then since this uh chain is continuous it is just passing through the ring so the tension in this chain will remain the same so if we cut the chain for for free body diagram the tension on this on this side of the chain and the tension on this side of the chain will be equal so let's let's represent that um tensions in the chain as well so we will have let's say this is t and we are given in the problem statement that the tension in the chain must not exceed uh 5 kN so this means that this t is equal to 5 kN and here this t will be equal to 5 kN as well so here we will have the tension on both sides of that point c equals to 5 kN so this is 5 kN and this tension is equal to 5 kN as well and here we have that point a this is point b and this is that point c now the distance between point a and b is 1.2 meter that is given and if we draw a perpendicular from point c so that will cut this point a and b into its half so let's say that this is our perpendicular from point c so this length this particular point is the midpoint of point a and b and this will be 1.2 divided by 2 so this will be 0.6 meters now let's say that um since this tensions in both the ropes is equal so the angles the opposite angles will be same as well right since this will make uh, an isosceles triangle so this this angle and this angle both of these angles will be equal and let's say that this angle is angle alpha let's say that this angle is angle alpha and let's say this angle is angle alpha as well now we need to find the length we need to find the length of the chain so we need to find this height from from this particular line until that point c this perpendicular length so if we somehow find this height we know this so we will be able to find the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle so this will be the hypotenuse and once we find this ac length then the twice of that ac length will be equal to the 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 length of the chain since this ac length is equal to bc length so we need to find this height h so let's represent that height h as well so this is that height h which is required now as we know that this point c is in equilibrium this point c is in equilibrium and uh, this point c is in equilibrium under the action of these three tensions 
So the the resultant is equal to zero since this point C is in equilibrium, and if it is in equilibrium, these three tensions must make a closed triangle. So let's make a closed triangle. Let's draw these, uh, rearrange these uh, tensions, uh, by using the head-to-tail rule. So this is that five kilonewton, and then we will have one another vector that is the five kilonewton tension as well, and then we will have that weight which is acting vertically upward so this is that 2.8 kilonewton and now as we know that uh, this tension is making angle alpha so we have that angle alpha here and similarly um, this tension is making angle alpha here so this this angle and this angle both of these angles are equal since they are alternate angles so this is angle alpha as well and again, uh, since this 5 kilonewton and this side has a magnitude of 5 kilonewton and this side has a magnitude of 5 kilonewton, so the both of these angles are equal. So we can say that this angle is angle theta and this angle is angle theta. Now we need to find this particular angle. This particular angle will be equal to alpha plus alpha, so this will be 2 alpha. So by using the law of cosines, we can find this 2 alpha angle. So, uh, we, can, we, we need to use the law of cosine since we know the magnitude of this vector, the magnitude of this and the magnitude of this vector. So we will be able to find the included angle between both of these. So we can say that this will be 2.8 square. This will be equal to 5 kilonewton square plus 5 kilonewton square minus 2 into 5 into 5 and cos of that angle which is 2 alpha. So, and we can rearrange this equation. We can bring this term to the other side of equation and we can bring this to the other side of equation. So we will have the equation like this. So that will be plus two into five, into five cos of two alpha equals to five square plus five square minus 2.8 square. And this is 2 into 5, 10 into 5 is 50. So if we divide both sides of equation by 50, this will cancel out and we will be left with cos 2 alpha. So this is 50. The equation will look like this. So we need to find the angle 2 alpha. So we need to take cos inverse. So 2 alpha will be equal to the cos inverse of this. So we can write there 2 alpha is equal to cos inverse of 5 square plus 5 square minus 2.8 square divided by 50. So cos inverse 5 square plus 5 square minus 2.8 square divided by 50. This gives us 2 alpha angle equals to 32.52. And if we want to find angle alpha, we need to divide our answer by 2. So this is 16.26 degrees. So the alpha angles is is 16.26 if the tension in the chain must not exceed 5 kilonewton. Now we know this angle alpha. And once we know this angle alpha, we can say 10 alpha. We can apply 10 alpha to this right angle triangle. And 10 alpha will be the perpendicular divided by the base. So the perpendicular is h that height and the base is 0 0.6 meters and we we are interested to find h we know alpha so h will be equal to 0 0.6 10 alpha and we know alpha this is alpha so h is 0 0.6 10 alpha which is 16.26 this gives us h equals to 0 0.175 meter approximately now we need to find this AC. We are interested to find this AC since the length of the chain, the sling in the chain ACB will be equal to twice of this length. So this length, the twice of this AC will be the, the length of the chain. So now we, we want to find the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse will be the AC length will be equal to AC square will be equal to H square plus 0 0.6 square by using the Pythagoras theorem. And to find AC, we need to take the square root. So AC length 
is equal to h h is 0 0.175 square plus 0 0.6 square so ac is 0 0.175 square plus 0 0.6 square so this is 0 0.625 and the the chain sling acb let's say that is represented by capital l that is equal to two times the ac length and this is two times this is in meters so 0 0.625 meters so two times our answer is the sling in the chain which is 1.25 meters so this is the required answer so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Baron Johnston.